Hey guys, John here, learningguitarnow.com, and in this podcast, I want to show you how to play an open E tuning slow blues solo played in the key of D. In this free version of the podcast, I'm going to show you how to play the first three licks. Uh, If you would like to learn all nine licks, as well as get the tab, the backing track, and the interactive version, uh, please check out the All Access Pass. In the All Access Pass, You'll also gain access to every single slide lesson I've ever recorded that gives you specific instructions on how to play uh, open E tuning slide, open G tuning slide, and standard tuning slide, as well as a wealth of videos to show you how to play uh, improvisational blues guitar. Let's go ahead and start this podcast. Okay, I'm gonna break this solo down into nine separate licks. Uh, Once again, this is played in the key of D using open E tuning. And the first lick is going to come in the last, uh, the preceding 12 bars, uh, right before the next 12 bars comes in. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh count, I do this. Um, I do it differently every time, but I'm just going to like roll down the string. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. I just kind of go down and then up. Now, like I said, I might do it a little bit different on the video. I do it again differently all the time. So try to figure out something that works for you. Um, I'm going to come in on the 11th and 12th counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, right there. So on uh, 11 and 12th counts, I'm going to slide backwards from 10 to 8, 10 to 8. And let me go ahead and play the lick one entirety. Sounds like this. So that's lick number one. Once again, we're coming in on the 11th and 12th count. And this is a Dwayne Allman thing that he does all the time. It's just hitting the note and then sliding backwards. So we're on the 10th fret of the high E string. We're not doing this. That's what most people get messed up on and trying to play like Dwayne Allman. They think he's doing this all the time. It's like a slide down, quick slide down. So it sounds kind of weird played by itself, but that's what's happening in this lick. First part, it's real snaky sounding. Then sliding in to the 10th fret. So sliding back, 10, 10 on the B. Now sliding in to the 10th fret on the high E. And then striking that 10 again. So it doesn't sound very difficult, but the timing and execution are extremely critical when playing this. And on the fourth count, strike that uh, tenth fret. That's the root note, the D note, the key we're in. Now I get this Derek Trucks move here. We're going to play the slide on the eighth fret of the high E string, ten on the B string. Now we're going to play these triplets. So you got ten, eight, ten, ten on the high E. And then we'll do the next lick, sliding back to the uh, B string on the, uh, right here to the eighth fret. Backwards, slide into the 10th fret of the G sharp string, and then end on the root note D. So slowly, that Derek Trucks part is this. You have to master that lick. You can also do a rake before you do it. You put the first section in, it's like this. Even slower. Make sure you put vibrato when you strike that root note right there. Pretty sweet slide look there. And then I'm just going to rake down, uh, slide the strings, uh, the slide over the string with my thumb here before I get to the next lick. Okay, so that's lick number one. Now moving to uh, lick number two, sounds like this. Okay, so lick two, um, what I'm doing is just kind of repeating the phrase slightly. That was my theme I, I wanted to develop was this. A lot of times when I'm playing slide guitar or blue guitar, I like to have a little bit of theme. And that little piece right there is the theme that I'm using. 
It's not that big of a deal, but you know, I repeated it twice, but I vary it slightly. Uh, lick one did this. And lick two, I didn't slide on the 10 the second time. I just hit the 10, hit 10 on the B, and then slide into the 10th fret of the high E string right there. And then do the same thing, vibrato, that 10th fret on the high E. Now hit 10 on the high E, 10 on the B string, and then slide into the minor third here. 13th fret high E string. And uh, that's it for lick two. A pretty simple basic lick, but you put lick one and two together, uh, pretty highly effective. So you got. So a lot of times slide guitar, you don't have to play tons of licks, uh, play something cool. Uh, definitely minimalism is uh, great when playing slide guitar. So that's it for lick number two. Okay, now let's move uh, to uh, lick number three. Sounds like this. And uh, lick three, that's one of my favorite licks right there. Um, it's got a, really just a cool move that you'll hear Dwayne Allman and Derek Trucks doing all the time. And so what I'm doing is I'm just sliding into the 15th fret on the B string. I'm doing a rake. And slide into it twice, so. Now on the, uh, right after the fifth count, one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna go backwards and then hit the 13th fret on the B string and the G sharp string. Now slide backwards to the eighth fret on the B string. Slide into the D uh, on the G string here, uh, the 10th fret. And then that'll be the, the pretty much uh, all of that lick. So it's kind of a short lick, it just cuts off and then stop the strings. Uh, you have to master that lick. Slowly. It's just a great thing to learn how to do. So it sounds really cool when playing a slow blues. Love doing that lick. Slower. Just an excellent move there. Uh, just a must-know opening tuning uh, slide lick if you want to play like Dwayne Allman and Derek Trucks.